Okay, so uh, just to recap, there are two cuts of Halloween 6. You have the producer's cut and then the theatrical cut. Now, when they sh showed the producer's cut to a test audience, it didn't go over so well, so they did some reshoots, some re-edits, and then you have the theatrical cut. Now, both versions were a complete mess, but uh, I mean, first of all, real quick, which one do you prefer? Oh, uh, I don't know. People say that the producer's cut is, like, better and Most good. Most of the time, yeah. I, I can see that the producer cut is a little bit more focused. It's still a bad movie. It's mm -hmm. still a bad idea. I'm kind of nostalgic for the theatrical cut. <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, when I was like uh, 10 or 11 or whatnot, mm -hmm. I was real angsty. I was getting into horror movies and stuff, and I, I thought this was the greatest uh, Michael Myers <laughs> movie ever made. I was like, yeah, it's so awesome. But, uh, I think The Undertaker at that time in wrestling, he had like a cult. It was the Ministry of Darkness. Okay. So I'm like, yeah, cults. Yeah, Michael Myers okay. are cults. This is great. Uh, uh, now as I'm older, I watch it. I'm like, this is one of the worst yeah. movies I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I hated them both. I mean, I, mean, I didn't know about the Proust cut for the longest yeah. time, but I, bet I did see them both yeah. quite a few times, unfortunately. And I, I hate the producer's cut more uh, because <laughs> mainly because of the ending. Like the ending, both endings are terrible. Yeah. But the producer's cut ending with all the rocks on the floor and then, <laughs> yeah. and then uh, Don Pleasant's with the... <laughs> It's so confusing and weird, and then he does that switcheroo with the, with Doctor Wynn. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> yeah, and and but anyway, yeah. Um, if you were in charge of the reshoots for the theatrical cut, like let's say the theatrical cut didn't exist yet, but we have the producer's cut. Yes, you still have Halloween Five, so you're stuck with that cliffhanger ending where yeah. uh, he, you know, the guy in black comes and blows Michael Myers out mm -hmm. of prison, and. Um, the whole thing with like the thorn symbol on the wrist, yeah. like that's all there. So you have to wrap that stuff up. You have yeah. to explain it somehow. It, it is weird that they went in with that mindset, but like the theatrical cut, it's like they decided they didn't want to do that, but there was no way to get around it. <laughs> Yeah, there was like no way around it. Like that, it was just. It's there. like why even approve this script? Why not just write a different? Like, script? like at that point, reboot it. Yeah. yeah but yeah. let's say you're stuck with it. You have yeah. the producer's cut, and yeah. you have the same actors, except for Donald Pleasance, because he just died. So to be clear, you have Paul Rudd as Tommy Doyle. You still have him. You have yes. J.C. Brandy as Jamie Lloyd. Mm -hmm. You have Mitchell Ryan as Dr. Wynn. Um, so you have all them. Yeah. You have a limited amount of time. Basically, I don't know how much time they had, if it was like a few days or a week or whatever, but basically the same amount of new footage you see yeah. in the theatrical cut. Think along that I would, same... I know. would say they had a lot of time, because if you watch the theatrical cut, there's whole new sets mm -hmm. built, there's whole location, like stuff added. Mm -hmm. I think I feel like you get a decent amount of time with mm -hmm. the reshoots. Maybe like a month or two months, maybe. Maybe, yeah. 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 So, first of all, what were the main problems with the producer's cut. Let's just, you know, think of it like there's the producer's cut. Yeah. I can narrow it down to five things that bothered me. Okay. First of all was Michael Myers being the baby's dad and the uncle at the same time. It's like, come on. Yeah, I have a, <laughs> I have a thing in here about this. Okay. Um, all right, so there is like a dream sequence where Jamie like remembers like the ritual where they impregnated her. Okay. And you see Michael come in. Just, in, in the existing one. Yeah, in the yeah, existing yeah, one. Yeah. I would just say... Michael could still be her dad, but like get rid of that part and just show like uh, the the test two babies from the theatrical cut. Make it like an artificial thing, so okay. it's like maybe it's like his DNA. So he's still technically the dad, but okay. there's not that weird ritual rape thing. Okay, like, get rid of that. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's um, like a, they're almost doing like a Rosemary's Baby type of thing. Yeah, or yeah. No, it's I like, don't like that. Uh, that's that's not Michael Myers. Yeah, it's like that's not, not what he does. He just, no, <laughs> Michael Myers does one thing. He goes around and stabs people. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's what he, and the second problem to me was uh, Michael being controlled by the the Thorn Cult and all that. Yeah, Michael Myers isn't a pawn. He he shouldn't be. Controlled controlled by somebody yeah third problem which is hard to fix but paul rudd's <laughs> terrible acting in it it's amazing to think that he went on to be like a famous actor yeah and i think so, i was telling you before this he can't remember the title of this movie <laughs> yeah, yeah in, in an yeah. interview they say asked what his first movie was he said halloween six and then he couldn't remember the full title <laughs> well he remembered it was six so, yeah he, you know. he got that far he's like i remember yeah. it was the sixth one <laughs> and i think it might have been a directing problem it might have been like hey you know you're supposed to look kind of weird because you you went through this experience yeah, and like yeah. like i think it might have just been some bad direction that could be resolved mm -hmm. with some reshooting but yeah. We're still stuck with a lot of the footage, but <laughs> yeah. we can reshoot some of it. Yes. Um, um, our fourth problem is that stupid ending with the stones on the floor, and you know, like <laughs> I were talking about. 
And five was just how they left it open. Like they wanted yeah. to leave the door open to like more sequels when I wanted to see Halloween six be the definitive conclusion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, it's weird that they would even, cause Donald Pleasance was getting old. Yeah. Like, like what do they think they were going to do? They make them like such an important part to the continuation yeah. of the series. And it's like, ah, guys, back up. Like, yeah, let's, come on, come on. Like one of the, it's just. Like yeah, we would all yeah. like that, but let's let's uh, let's mm-hmm. not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> it got way too ahead of itself. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. I guess my issue, uh, I kind of agree with everything. Um, basically, I just want a better explanation for the cult. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with a cult or whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's just their their agenda in the movie is just bizarre. Because mm-hmm. in the producer's cut, it's like, oh yeah, Michael has to sacrifice his family member mm-hmm. to spare everyone else. It's like, well, he never does that. He did that literally once. Mm-hmm. He only ever killed a family member once and everything seems to be fine. So there's no, uh-huh. <laughs> there's no consequences for him failing. Uh-huh. So the, the cult doesn't make any sense. And then they have the baby mm-hmm. and then they want Michael to kill the baby. So his curse could be done. Why did they just have him killed Jamie? Why did they even bother with the baby? <laughs> Which I guess the theatrical yeah, version tried to fix. They give, they try to make the baby more important. Yeah. Well, the baby, like, starting from the beginning of the movie, like, if we were kind of going in order. Yeah. Because uh, I actually, I actually have like a whole beginning and ending thought through in my yeah. head. But if we're just to take it in steps. Like, yeah, yeah. We can start with. Yeah, and yeah. you got some notes too, yeah, yeah, and like, yeah. you know, I, I got some notes also. But <laughs> it's basically like. Um, if you start with the beginning of the movie and you got the baby with the candles and everything, it's like, yeah. wait a minute, like, hold on, hold on. Like, let's not get, get there yet. That's, that's just, because <laughs> my first thought was, okay, can we cut the baby from the whole movie? And I don't, I don't think so. I, I actually am going to keep the baby in, in my version. Yeah, I think but, you, I think you have to. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's not, how do you get Jamie out? Like, I, how do you get it, everything it'll like, be a little tough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the, uh, I I would I'd keep that scene in with the baby, the the cold thing. Mm-hmm. I would just change the line where Doctor Loomis says like, he hunted his family down every night and always on Halloween. It's like he oh, he never did that. He did it once. Like <laughs> get over the delete that. I mean, line. there was the nephew, but it's, it's oh the, still, the, the niece. Um, the niece, sorry, but he didn't kill her. her. Like he didn't like no, that whole thing. Yeah, he wasn't successful. Like he kills like, people. Just say that. Just yeah. say like, like Michael. I, had and I don't think he would have killed her. I don't think that he was even he he would have done it. Uh, maybe not in five. Part four, I think he's really trying to kill okay. her. Um, yeah, so cut that line because that's weird. Uh, they show a flashback to Halloween five, and they they Wait, add... in your version. No, 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 no. In this version, do they do they actually show it? Yeah, yeah. okay. In the and then and then they the... add a scene where the cult members are like throwing Michael into the back oh. of a van. <laughs> oh yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah this, and then, this is like early in the producer's cut. Or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then okay. the man in black says like Jamie, come to me, kind of like he does mm-hmm. to Danny. Uh, okay. Cut that because yeah. he's not trying to make her the next Michael Myers, so it's weird. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then it kind of plays mm-hmm. out the same. And uh, one thing I would keep from the theatrical is the random truck driver. When Michael breaks his neck in the producer's cut, it just breaks. In the theatrical cut, they show like bones shooting oh, out of that. Yeah. Put that in. Put yeah, that in. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all those enhancements, like the head exploding, all that. Yeah. Oh, we're getting to the head exploding. <laughs> we should that. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, actually, no, I'm glad you mentioned that, that that was in there, that they did have a little more flashback. Cause yeah, yeah. I'd like to see a little more of that, actually. N- not not the same type of thing, but mm. I- I'd like to see uh, basically like Michael Myers is out on the street and mm. like a bunch of police officers all like block off the street and they mm. all got their guns on them or whatever. Mm. But then all of a sudden somebody just starts sniping them all off from the <laughs> rooftop. And then yeah. you look up for like one second, you just see the, 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 the black trench coat yeah. sort of like duck. And it was him again. So it's kind of just a show that this is happening we haven't mm-hmm. forgotten that there is a guy who is helping michael myers whether michael myers knows it or not or yeah. cares or even gives a shit or even yeah. wants his help yeah. he's there removing every roadblock that's in michael's mm-hmm. path so he's like cleverly leading him somewhere not just two guys throw michael into the back of a van yeah you're not into just two guys throw him. and michael's not even putting up a fight he's like what huh yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> Like, if they tried that, he would just kill them. Yeah, I think yeah. he would just slam their heads exactly. together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so now we get to Jamie Lloyd. And uh, first of all, you know, she, so she gave birth to this baby. Mm-hmm. And now, here's the thing. Like, I, I don't want 
Michael Myers to be the dad at all. Like that's what yeah. I would, like. I'd rather there be another father, even if the father is not like present. Mm. And I tried to think of other ways to do it. Like I even tried to think of Tommy Doyle being the father because he has a baby. <laughs> but then if you do the ages, you try to yeah, you know, it doesn't. He work. would be twenty four and she would be fifteen. Yeah. Although it's less fucked up than Michael Myers being the dad. Yeah. But, yeah. but anyway, I just like make it some somebody else. Mm. And uh, oh. there is a baby. And, um, yeah, so we'll take it from there. What would you like to see happen? Um, I think we stick to the producer's cut. We keep her alive. Yeah. But Uh, I would say, because the theatrical cut kills her off earlier. Yes. I actually think keep her alive longer. Yeah. That's oh, you want her alive throughout? Do you yeah, want to keep like, her like alive throughout the movie? Or? Yeah, I'm gonna keep her alive as long as we can. Okay, so, okay, yeah. Uh, definitely, can, as, as brutal as her fucking death is in the theatrical cut. Yeah, yeah. It leads to a bunch of continuity errors, like uh, Paul Rudd finds. I love how we're calling him Paul Rudd, not even Tommy. Oh Rudd. yeah, yeah. Paul Rudd uh, just finds Doctor Loomis in the hospital for no reason. Like Loomis has no reason to be there because they cut out the Jamie stuff. So mm-hmm. you got to keep her alive for stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's important. Uh, one thing I would leave in from the theatrical cut is the Kara and Danny. Uh, when she's like, when the man in black is like in the room scaring him, there's actually like a little bit of a longer scene where she tries to make him feel like more comfortable. She like mm-hmm. does this funny like poem thing. There's a lot of good chemistry between those two for some reason. Like the, the, the elderly, like babysitter. No, 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 no. Like... The, 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 the main girl and her son. Oh, are they the Strode family? Yeah, the, the Strode family. Yeah. yeah. I, I would just... If you could just cut out the fact that they're the Strode family because it's too much. Uh, I, I don't like know. I kind of, I kind of like that. You want to keep them I kind of like that revelation that no one could buy the house, so the dude sold it to his brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, but no, there's a really good scene where she's trying to like you know put Danny back to bed, and the, mm-hmm. the theatrical cut it's kind of rushed. Mm-hmm. So I'd leave that in because there's good chemistry there. There's not a lot of good acting in this movie. You got to cling no. on to whatever you can. Yeah. <laughs> Although if you could reshoot some of Paul Rudd's stuff, like maybe you could get yeah, a better yeah. actor. Um, I would also completely cut his explanation of the thorn and everything. Like the scene where Tommy Doyle, oh, like, yeah. he's just staring at that computer screen like, and then there's this constellation that yeah. lines up every Halloween. Get rid of that whole thing. Because first of all, it's like, like okay, cool. You did your research. You, you're, you're like a nerdy, like a, mm. a, a obsessed, you know, with this topic. I, I'm going to leave that explanation till later. Yeah. When we hear it from an inside source, because that is just stupid. I don't want. Yeah. To, I don't want him to explain that. I right um. Now. I still have the scene where he's trying to explain it. I have it a little bit different. Okay. Uh, yeah, change it to just a person with the curse can't stop killing everyone in their family until everyone in their family is dead. So it's not like they have to kill their family. Mm-hmm. It's just they won't stop until their family's dead. They'll kill everyone, uh, and just make it a demonic curse that drives people to kill and keeps them alive. Forget the whole family mm. sacrifice thing because it never pays off. And, and you count this as like, is this what he thinks? Or this, is this, yeah, this is like what he thinks. I, but my whole idea, because I'm trying to make sense of the cult, and it's yeah, really no. hard, guys. <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll get there in a bit. But Even uh, the writer yeah. couldn't do it. My whole thing mm. is like, my idea for how you would re-edit this, and we'll get more into it with like, uh, like your voiceover and stuff, is basically like, Michael is evil, there's some kind of curse. The cult has like figured out a way to like tap into the same evil mm-hmm. to kind of control him. Uh, so they're not like really in charge, but like they're, they're doing the same thing and I'll get to my revelation mm. later where Dr. Wynn explains it. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I mean, like in general, it's just like Michael is under the curse and yeah, he's got to kill on Halloween. He's got to relive his first murder over and okay. over and over again. So, so there still is something going on with that for you yeah, for, yeah. in your version. Yeah. yeah. Like, and then okay. it's not revealed until later on, which I'll, I'll get to, I'll get to okay. <laughs> So we skip ahead to the Tommy. But yeah, in my version, I get rid of the astrology thing altogether. Oh, okay. Get rid of the stars, because <laughs> okay. that's bullshit. <laughs> now, actually, we're going to get to a scene now that I kind of like, yeah. that, that's in the, you know, the original yeah. version, is that it's the, there's that other boy. Well, first of all, I don't like that there's a separate character. Like, okay, there's another boy who is, is being told to kill, yeah. and they don't follow up on it at all. They yeah. kind of build him up like, oh, he's going to be the next Michael Myers, then nothing happens. Um but the, the scene that I like is when uh, he's being babysat by like, an elderly woman, mm-hmm. and she's part of the cult, actually, by the way. But yeah. anyway, and she's telling that whole story of Sawin. She's like, yeah. it was a marvelous celebration. And, and while she's t- telling that, you're seeing footage of um, uh, the teenagers celebrating Halloween mm-hmm. when Halloween is banned. Yeah. And it, it's kind of a, a well put together little scene. Yeah. Um, even though it doesn't mean much in the long run. But. My idea would actually be to take that scene, put it at the beginning of the movie. Oh, okay. Maybe. I mean, you'd have to have those like recaps of Halloween 5, you know, something yeah, there. But, yeah. but I think that would be a kind of a good way to begin the movie. 
but then it flashes forward. Okay, let me back up. When she's <laughs> babysitting him, mm. this is taking place in 78, 79. Okay. So this is taking place a long time ago. The kid is Tommy Doyle. Oh, it's not, okay. Yeah, it's not the same actor. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. No, that, that makes more sense. Yeah. Um, I really like her story, and then that scene mm-hmm. gets ruined when she's like, I was Michael's babysitter that night. It's like, no, you weren't. Oh, we yeah. saw that movie. You yeah. weren't anywhere well, in that movie. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> You're a goddamn she... liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically, she couldn't exist in the present day now, but yeah. I'm putting her in the past, yeah. where after after Jamie Lee Kurt, after Lori Strode got taken to the hospital and everything, yeah. that was Tommy's next babysitter. Oh, okay. And... Um, then we flash forward, we go to the present time, and now he's Paul Rudd, mm-hmm. and he still remembers that event. Yeah. So yeah, there's that scene where like uh, the dad like hates the daughter and like slaps her and everything. Uh, I like how it plays better in the theatrical version, where it just pans down, the little kid's got the knife to the oh, dad. Oh, okay. Because we saw the night before, he's getting like this weird voice or yeah, whatnot. Yeah, yeah. In the producer's cut, it's even like more confusing, because he sees Michael Myers outside, mm-hmm. and Michael Myers isn't the... The voice guy. No. And then you hear him like, kill for me, Danny. So it's less shocking. Uh, I mm. think the theatrical cut actually edited that scene well. Uh, yeah. And speaking of which, the the dad, the asshole dad, mm-hmm. this is definitely a producer. The guy who gets his head exploded. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about the head explosion. <laughs> uh, the asshole dad, uh, I forget if this is in the theatrical cut. It's definitely the producers. He's got a weird thing with the daughter. It's also a little yeah. incesty. It's weird. Like, um, And like the daughter is living with with the like the family I, I was kind of confused how that whole family worked because it, yeah, I think she, she just moved back mm-hmm. and she has like a kid like mm-hmm. out of wedlock and I think her brother is younger mm-hmm. and she's moving back to go to college okay so I think they moved in um, the dad like there's a like he slaps her and everything and they leave mm-hmm. but then they add a scene where she's like John forgive her blah blah and he's like she's not my little girl anymore and it's real <laughs> weird and then it cuts later to him uh, he like yells at the wife on the phone and then he starts drinking and he's got a picture of his daughter and he's like happy Halloween little girl I'm like cut all of that shit out which I think the a- theatrical cut did I'm like that's just weird like mm-hmm. he's an asshole that's all we need we don't need <laughs> weird what was up with the weird incest stuff in this movie why oh, no. stop it stop it it's creepy yeah yeah and then how about like Tommy Doyle like watching her like through the window and everything yeah that's weird and, like, yeah and that doesn't even it didn't have anything to do with anything else in it like there's part of him like oh he's watching to make sure they're okay but it's like come on dude yeah it's like watching her undress yeah don't watch like like that like be like hey is she still alive okay (laughs) and then the rest of the movie they kind of just they ignore it they they straight up ignore it because then they're like you know because he was doing it for a good reason he was watching out for them (laughs) it's like stop it that's weird (laughs) cut the cop yelling at Loomis because we've seen that in two movies already Mm. three movies already we don't need more cops yelling at Loomis Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that weird scene where, like, uh, Kara, the main girl, is, like, she thinks she's being stalked on campus. I would leave that in, just because there's no suspense in this movie, and it's mm-hmm. something. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because the, the first Halloween has scenes like that, where it's, like, suspenseful, but uh-huh. nothing happens. Like, like, there's, like, little things yeah. that were in there that were cut for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we already talked about Miss Blankenship, uh, the, the old lady. Talking mm-hmm. about Michael hearing a voice. Because mm-hmm. that, that basically reveals that she's a cult member. Mm-hmm. I think it's better if she just doesn't talk that whole movie because they say she's deaf or whatever mm-hmm. until the very end where she's got like the knife and she's holding the baby because also if she, I don't know it makes no sense in either cut no if she's a cult member why isn't she just like hey I have the baby it's been here the whole time <laughs> Just come on out, come yeah. on over. None of it makes sense. <laughs> None of it. Yeah, so that's why it's more like just trying to cut as much as you can. Just like yeah. get rid of the shit that doesn't make sense, <laughs> hoping that you're not making more holes of more of things that don't make sense. Yeah, yeah. Which is a lot of what was happening. Um, uh, you have another change or anything you want to talk about? Before? Uh, no, I'm no, I'm just ready for Doctor Wynn now. Uh, okay, I got a few more things before we get there. Okay. Uh, so the the fair, the Halloween fair. Yeah. Big continuity error there. Okay. First off, I hate that guy who's clearly supposed to be Howard Stern. Oh yeah, like they couldn't get Howard Stern. Like I think they tried and he said no. Oh so they, man, so that now would have been. Now I can see it as Howard Stern. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> now it's just someone doing like an awful Howard Stern impression, and it's like wow. you're not Howard Stern. Like stop <laughs> it. Uh, but there is a weird continuity error where um, they're at the fair. It cuts back to the house. The dad gets killed. Michael mm. kills the dad there. Mm-hmm. And then Michael goes back to the fair to kill the DJ for no reason. <laughs> and then he goes back to the house. <laughs> it makes no sense. So I would just have uh, Barry reveals himself, mm-hmm. do the interview, 
And then the, just have it like Michael Myers was at the fair. Mm-hmm. So when he says, we're going to go to the Myers house, that's what makes Michael kill him and makes Michael want to go to the house. Okay. It gives a reason for my, it's going to be a shitty mm-hmm. edit. I'm okay. not going to lie. It's not going to make a lot of sense, <laughs> but at least it gives Michael a reason to be at yeah. the house instead of going back and forth. Uh huh. And then uh, the dad's death scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would keep it as the theatrical cut oh, with the head definitely. exploding. Yeah, yeah. Have you, the yeah, produce- now, of course means you have to shoot it still because you're making the theatrical yes, version. Yes. But, but uh, yeah. the producer's cut. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a wide shot of Michael electrocuting him and it's clearly a puppet of the dad. Oh. And like the head is weird, mis- weirdly misshapen. Oh, really? <laughs> it's clearly like I haven't just, noticed that. It's so bizarre. He looks like uh, I forget. It. He looks like some politician that I know. But like <laughs> it's so bizarre. I'm like, huh. cut that. That puppet looks way worse than the head exploding. Oh yeah. Uh, so I would leave the head exploding, and then we yeah. get to Wynn's office. How would you fix oh, okay. Wynn's office? So revelation? this is where like the majority of my reshoots would happen. That, that, yeah. This is where like things start happening, which, which is the kind of the way. Which is funny because that's yeah. where a majority of the reshoots <laughs> exactly, did happen. Yeah. Um, so basically there's the scene where, um, uh, Dr. Loomis is in the office with Dr. Wynn. It's like, oh, it was you all along. You know, yeah. he was the man in black. So, mm-hmm. um, basically, um, I would reshoot new footage of Wynn, of his close up explaining the whole thorn cult thing yeah. and hoping you have enough Donald Pleasant's footage just to react to. Which I think you do. I think so. Yeah. yeah. So you would just basically have the entire explanation that Tommy had would be here instead. Oh, okay. And it would be similar. It would mostly be the exact same explanation. But the main difference here is that this is all bullshit. This is what <laughs> Wynn thinks. Okay. Because he, as the leader of this cult, they believe this to be mm. the case where there's all these sacrifices that have to restore balance. Yeah. You know, and this is the um, Michael's destiny to kill off the last of his bloodline. Mm. And they're going to end it with... Basically, he has Jamie left still. She's still alive. Oh, she, yeah, she she's died. still alive in your yeah. brain. Yeah. yeah. And then the last thing is the baby. But the baby, they have... He kidnapped the baby. And mm. now they, they brought it to, you know, that... Um, uh, the, the it, ritual. It was blood. a boy, right? The baby. Yeah. Like, they brought him to this sacrifice, this yeah. like ceremony, and this is going to be the final sacrifice. And um, but meanwhile, Michael Myers, he doesn't give a shit one way or another. <laughs> He's just carrying on with business. Like he does. <laughs> he Michael Myers is the same as he always has been. He just yeah. kills people for no un, for no known reason. Yeah. The closest and, reason we get is he wants to recreate his first murder of his sister. But that's only when it comes to certain victims. Like, Other people, he's just killing. You can psychologically like analyze Michael, yeah. but um, really, like this whole cult, this Thorn cult, they're just followers. Like, yeah. They just kind of saw what he was doing, and they just thought that he was like their like God or, or yeah. like Messiah or something yeah. like that. He's gonna complete this these murders, and it's gonna restore balance. Um, and that this is what Samhain was all about, mm. the original Halloween, and this is the true Halloween, and this is what has to happen yeah. on this night. Of course, you also have to explain the thorn symbol, because starting yeah. with Halloween 4, he has that... It's, it's 4, right? Where no, five, 5. Oh, they first showed in 5, yeah. when he has the symbol burned. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do show the symbol in 4 somewhere, don't they? Like I think they only show in 5. Only 5, yeah. okay. Yeah. But either way, the only time... Because, in, um, wait, actually, 5... The original, before the old mm-hmm. Hermit Man, okay, there was going to be this like punk saint worshiper kid huh. who was going to have like runes around. That's why like the, the Hermit's oh, okay. area looks weird and he was going to use spell to bring Michael Myers back. Oh, they okay. shot some of the scene. I don't know if they did mm-hmm. it all and they cut it. So that I think that's... So the, the whole cult thing I think is left over from a deleted scene oh, <laughs> from Halloween 5. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but... To, just to explain how the thorn got on his uh, yeah. wrist, at some point the the cult had to just burn it on on Michael Myers. So that would I sense. would think the only time when it could have happened was when he was unconscious at the beginning of four. So Probably. sometime in between part two and four, they got in there and they burned it on, yeah. on him. But Michael Myers doesn't care one way or another. Kai <laughs> doesn't even know it's there, and mm-hmm. so it's. You know. Yeah, so my whole thing, I, I, I got a, like a different way of uh, fixing mm-hmm. it that kind of tries to play into the cult theme that the movie's trying to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I would have it where uh, Wynn mentions he's trying to make the next Michael Myers that he can have full control of. So he's got two plans. Okay. One is using the magical spell to get Danny to be the next one. 
And okay. I think his backup plan is using like science and genetics with the baby to make their own Michael Myers, which I think is what the theatrical version was implying. Really? Because they were going to do all those experiments on the baby before Michael kills all of them. Okay. But again, they never fully commit because if there's okay. one good thing Halloween, if there's one thing Halloween Six is good at, it's not committing to ideas. They want another Michael Myers. I think that's even what... though the other the 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 one that exists doesn't have any sign of stopping. Well, well, that's the thing. I think the idea, like how I would rework his dialogue, is that. They can't fully control Michael. Like, his mm. urge to kill mm. and be protective of the house and recreate his sister's murder and mm. stuff, they can't control that. Like, he'll he'll do some of the stuff they say, but they're not strong enough to, like, really, like, guide him and so lead him. So, both of our versions, they're not actually controlling him. Yeah, it's like, I think they, they have enough to just, mm. they have enough magic juice to keep them safe from him. <laughs> And, like, point him in the right direction, but they can't. So I think Danny, uh-huh. like, they want Danny and the baby to be, like, their next one. Okay. And then you do the ritual. Don't mention... Because, by the way, when in the producer's cut, he says he wants to retire and give up, but he also mm-hmm. wants to take over the world. That doesn't make any sense. Huh. So the only reason, like, because he wants Loomis to take over for him, which is dumb. Yeah. I think Loomis should just be there so they can c- figure out how to recreate the mm-hmm. events that created okay. Michael. Because Loomis knows him better mm-hmm. than anyone else. Michael uh, Myers is like a lemming to them. He's basically walking <laughs> on his own, yeah. and they just put things around to try and get him to like to yeah. steer him where they want him to and go. And they want like, they want like a remote control one. By the way, this idea yeah. came from the theatrical cut. One of the radio call-ins talks about how Michael is used by the CIA, and I'm like, oh, that's really? actually yeah, a more better <laughs> idea than this movie came up. with. I don't remember that. that line. Yeah, it's cut out of the producers, but I think it's in the theatrical. Okay. Uh, so they want Loomis there. So they, they, it was a reshoot. They added. Yeah, it. yeah. Okay. And then during the ritual. Uh, it's about like making Danny the next one. I think Kara, because in the theater, the producers, she's like, Michael, the baby is yours, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and this one, she should be like, Michael, they're not going to let you kill the baby. Because that's his whole thing. Like, he wants the curse to be gone. He's got to kill his family. So, in your version, they. Dr. Wynn does not want no. Michael to kill the baby. Because it does. Because why even have the baby in the first place? <laughs> I know. I, exactly. Why yeah. did they. That, that makes way more sense because why would. Yeah. They, that was actually one of my biggest problems. Like, okay, she gives birth to this baby just for, like, it to... Yeah. And, and the, if she gave birth to the baby somewhere else, it would have been fine. But that, that happened under, what, with, under the, the, the cult. Yeah. Like, they were... Yeah. yeah. Um, so the only other thing, after that, it can either play off, like, the theatrical or producers with them okay. running away, depending on which one you like. If you're going to do the Magic Stones, which probably makes more sense <laughs> for this version... Put like in a like a cheesy effect with light coming out of it, or just like <laughs> yeah, like, there's like, nothing. La- like, laser bars. I, or I might have accepted. Yeah, laser bars. I might have accepted if something happened. If this was like, like a more creative like movie, yeah. I could have like bought into it. But it's just like I got rocks on the think, ground. Do you think maybe they were going to add that, but they because this is a producer's cut, it wasn't really and no one fine, like right? maybe the idea never got passed along that there were supposed to be effects and they never <laughs> yeah. got around to it. Well, that's funny too. But I was thinking uh, just that it wasn't finished because they, yeah. they canceled the idea before they like because like the producer's cut wouldn't yeah i mean i'm not sure but i'm thinking like what if the uh, producer's cut was actually a work in progress like it was almost done well it definitely was at one point but if they've restored it and put it on blu-ray they could have added something to it <laughs> if they wanted to well then in that case it could have made a whole better movie but, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah that's only um, it's like they just put these rocks on and then michael Myers is like okay go to go to sleep yeah and then so you can from from this point on you can either do uh, Paul Rudd beating him with a pipe and then breaking <laughs> character because he clearly doesn't care. He starts laughing <laughs> he does, randomly. He does, yeah. yeah. Which annoyed me when I first saw it, but now that I know like the troubled backstory, he's probably just tired at that point. It's like whatever. <laughs> um, or you could do the magic rock. I guess with the magic rocks, you get a little bit more Loomis. Well, could, do you have a new ending? Like, can you think like what would you? Because you could reshoot anything. So what yeah, would you? Put uh, there? Would well, you want to that... kill Michael? Because I'd want to make him def- definitely dead. But and you know what? Actually, I'm. I still have some more to say before we get to the end. Okay. So you want to just? Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, that's it. I'm. I got real lost at oh. the end here. Oh, I that's really good. don't know what direction oh, to fine, go in. Yeah. So this is all you okay. know. Okay. <laughs> Doctor Wynn and the whole Thorn Cult. They have the baby at the ceremony. Yeah. And they need to get Michael over. To, so he can kill the baby. Because mm-hmm. in my version, he's still. They they think that yeah. they. I don't know why. The baby in my version was born somewhere in a normal environment, like at a hospital or something. Okay. <laughs> you know, it wasn't born under their care. So they, they actually do want to kill the baby as the yeah. final thing. And um, also Jamie, they, they use her to like lure Michael toward the baby so that he will um, 
he'll come into the ceremony mm-hmm. and they'll kind of get two for one. They're going to finish the whole bloodline now. Yeah. So in this scene, Michael kills Jamie. Okay. So now she's dead. Yeah. And now, you know, Dr. Wynn is pleased and he, he thinks you know, everything's going perfect, just mm-hmm. as planned. And then he's like, all right, Michael, kill the baby. And then Michael just stands there. <laughs> and then think about it. And then Tommy Doyle, he, yeah. he should be in, in the scene somewhere too. And mm-hmm. Tommy remembers his encounters with Michael Myers as a kid yeah. and knows that Michael Myers never has killed a kid. And like that's true. Yeah, and, and Michael Myers. Michael Myers is like a baby at I heart. I guess not counting teenagers, but yeah, like yeah, yeah, like, like a, a baby. I mean, yeah, come on, yeah, like, yeah. Like that's where Michael Myers draws a line. He has no. He doesn't see a baby as a target. Like it doesn't even register to him. Cause yeah, he's a baby at heart. I guess the so. only. I guess that, like his his mo is girls that remind him of his sister, people who could possibly get in his way. Mm-hmm. And dogs. That seems to be the only thing. Yeah. So it's like, this doesn't, this is not something that he is concerned about. Yeah. But, but Dr. Wynn's like, come on, Michael, do it. It's your destiny. Michael, you must do it. And then he like grabs Michael by the arms, like trying to like get Michael. Like, <laughs> do, and, and then Michael just kind of just like, just like pushes him away or whatever. Yeah. And then does his like famous, like, the, like the, the, the cock, head. you know? Yeah. And then, um, you know, so he's just looking at, at Dr. Wynn like that. <laughs> and then, um, and he grabs Dr. Wynn, picks him up, <laughs> kills him. Does he kill the, the whole cult? Yeah, right after this. So Dr. Wynn's dead. Yeah. And now he starts hacking up all the cult members. And this is basically takes the place of yeah. that scene where he's in the hospital. In the theatrical cut. With the strobe lights. Now, now, even though they're in a room full of candles, will you still have the strobe effect? <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't have the strobe. Instead, maybe just some candles with like close-ups of blood splattering onto the flames. <laughs> okay. Kind of like they did in, if you've seen Scars of Dracula, there's like blood going onto the candles. Oh, and stuff. okay, but, okay. But yeah, you could play with that. You could have like some yeah. cool like candle shots and everything. Yeah. So yeah. he's killing everybody. This is big, huge bloodbath. Yeah. And um, everybody gets killed. And meanwhile, Tommy Doyle, is, is he runs into another room where he finds basically um, Dr. Wynn's stash of weapons. Because... <laughs> You know, in, the, in Halloween 5, when he yeah. blows him out of prison, like, yeah. what did he... You don't even Oh, really yeah, he what, had to have had, like, an arsenal there. Yeah, like, he must... It, I don't know, because they don't show you what he used, but it must have been, like, some grenade launcher or, like... Yeah, they never show what the... Expl- he has, like, a machine gun, obviously, but I don't yeah. know what he used to, like, blow up the place. Like a rocket launcher. Like, <laughs> like a, a bazooka. Like, I, I don't know, but he's got some, like, heavy-duty yeah. um, gun that can just blow shit up. It's a nuclear bomb. Yeah, so... Yeah, the BFG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Tommy <laughs> finds this weapon yeah. and takes it out on Michael mm-hmm. and blows him the fuck up. And there's <laughs> body parts and everything. And then you see the mask yeah. just burning away to uh, reveal Michael's face one last time. And then the skin burns uh, off. And it's just skull just uh, burning. And the whole building's ex- like burning. And yeah. And then, you know, that there's your ending. You know, right it's kind of funny. That's spoiler. That's how they killed the cigarette smoking man in the last episode of the X Files. Oh yeah, because they, they wanted the definitive ending. Oh okay. So they they had a rocket hit him. Oh really? They showed his bones and stuff exploding. Oh really? And then the revival, he's back. He's fine. He's got oh, some bones. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so even yeah, if yeah. you did this definitive ending, yeah. If you wanted to bring Michael back, just bring him back. He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But there is one lingering thing. Yeah. Um, we have a little bit of Donald Pleasant's footage left. Yeah. Where, uh, yeah. Now, that's... I don't want to use the... the uh, yeah. But we have the where he's outside the building and he says, I have some unfinished business. And then, yeah. you know, he goes in. So... <laughs> I'm just... I'm sorry. Yeah, what do you think? I got, Would like, you use that? You get a body double from behind. And it's just him mopping up the, oh. <laughs> the body of Michael Myers. Like, well, the bad guy said I'm in charge of the the, the hospital now. I gotta clean it up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like putting his like foot into like a dust that's, pan. That's funny. That's like the comedic ending. Yeah. And then, dun, 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 just clean up. <laughs> oh, oh, but anyway, how how would you yeah. really do it? Uh, I have two ideas. Mm. Um, yeah. But I just want to keep him saying, um, you know, I have some unfinished business, and then yeah. dun, 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 and just end it like that. That probably but then, be the best way to do it. Yeah, just leave it ambiguous. Yeah. Um, actually, I, I guess I made up a, th- a third now. A third. <laughs> that would be one. Okay. Yeah. Second ending. Okay, if you really want to do something about it, I'm thinking maybe after Halloween two. Remember when he burned mm. and he still since then he's lived a life of misery. All he does yeah. is search for Michael. Yeah. And 
I think he's seen it as like he's living on borrowed life. Like he mm-hmm. he would be happy to die, but he needs to take out Michael first. Yeah. Now Michael's dead, so now he can finally be at peace. Mm-hmm. So when he says I have some unfinished business, cut to a body double of just the back yeah. of him walking toward the burning building. Oh, and then, dun, okay. dun, 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 like he's gonna walk into the, yeah. the flames now and and kill himself so, that, that why not <laughs> yeah and that's a good way to let him go that in memory of donald Trump, right <laughs> after, and donald like Trump. there you go you, you don't he, want him to be mopping up <laughs> that's good blood that, and that, viscera that's in good. memory of donald Pleasant. that's good the other idea yeah. um which might might uh go over a little better is um uh right after he says i have some unfinished business you see the baby mm-hmm. and there's some other like doctors like yeah. having the baby and they they bring him into like a vehicle and you see mm-hmm. that it's like a hospital vehicle yeah. and it drives off and basically like they're putting the baby under their care to make sure that um nothing's gonna happen oh like it doesn't turn into the next michael yeah, yeah. So i can because see that he spent like almost his whole career watching this kid michael mm-hmm. and now he he needs to he, he you know t- now he needs it- to start taking care of yeah yeah. Oh, that could kind of work. That could work. Yeah, because I mean they had it at the end of part four with Jamie Lloyd, but they didn't. And then they pushed out on it, and then Halloween, yeah. Halloween two, two, they pushed out on it again. Yeah, with with the yeah. new Laurie Strode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, then again, you know what? It's probably something that if they did do it, it would make mm-hmm. no money, and everyone would complain. <laughs> so yeah. maybe it's smart. But yeah. at least just don't keep setting it up that you're gonna pass it on and then never pass it. Yeah, up. and I'm I'm okay with those endings where you don't get a sequel. Yeah. Like if it's an ending, like, like, okay, like I'm trying to think of a better example than the super Mario brothers movie, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's kind of like, you know, I, and I, Oh gee, this isn't a good example either, but Godzilla 98 <laughs> where there's like the eggs at the end. But or, I mean, I guess it usually pertains to bad movies. Yeah. But I don't mind. Dracula like, untold that sets up uh, the monster verse. And then, oh, it didn't, yeah. and then they did it again with Mummy, and then it didn't work oh, either. <laughs> I'm so disappointed we're not going to find out what happens to Tom Cruise at the end, what kind of monster he's going to be. I can't believe they tried it twice. Yeah. It was so bad. Uh, but yeah, so like the, yeah. just the vague ending. Yeah, I'm okay yeah. with the vague ending. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I actually don't even mind just, just he says unfinished business and then dun 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 dun. Yeah, that works, that works. Yeah. I mean... I, no matter what we do, mm-hmm. there's no way to make a good movie out of this. <laughs> no, but the, the whole—I think the whole goal was just to make it just somewhat comprehensive. Yeah. Like, like I kind of understand what's yeah. going on. Just, just lift the air of confusion. And yeah, just, like weirdness. Like this isn't a this isn't a David Lynch film. This no. isn't like an art film. Like this is Halloween Six. Yeah, <laughs> this is, <laughs> they like, thought they put too much thought into it. Is the yeah, problem, actually. Oh my god. Yeah, like I I, I can't criticize and criticize them for not putting any thought into it yeah. they put too much thought into it yeah and um i guess that's maybe that's something with the director because he also did hellraiser 4 which was heavily re-edited and reshot really i haven't seen that one yeah that's the one where it's like in different time periods and it ends up in hmm. space yeah huh. so it, like although on that film he was alan smithy he did the alan smithy oh title. really okay he really should have yeah. did an alan smithy for halloween 6 i don't know if this helped his career okay. at all <laughs> Uh, no. Yeah, maybe we should do that one day. How do you fix Hellraiser 4? Hellraiser 4. I have to check them out. Yeah. I, I was thinking about those recently. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I want to see um, the rest. But yeah, the Halloween 6. I, I, again, I have a soft spot for it. Oh, mm-hmm. we would have to fix the music. Because the music in the producer's cut, I think, is borrowed from all the other movies. Oh, okay. And then Halloween 6, it's like that weird heavy metal-like version of the Halloween. Unless you oh, like really? that. I don't know uh, if it fits. I didn't remember having any issues with the music here. Uh, yeah, like, it's like <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't, as long as it's in there, I don't, yeah. I don't care if it's the exact music from the original. Yeah. It, it doesn't matter to me as much. And um, I like what the producers cut did. Were like ugh, no jump scares. Like theatrical cut adds so many like loud stings for no mm. reason. It keeps doing those weird like negative flashes. Where it's like a oh, negative image. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's always like, if you go frame by frame, which I have done. Okay. Uh, there's a, there's this flash that they do throughout the movie. And it's a shot of Michael's knife and then Jamie in the hospital from the scene they deleted. Hmm. And I don't know why they keep flashing those two images throughout the whole movie. Huh. But it's real bizarre. I don't know. It's one of the editing things they did to try to make sense of everything. Okay. And it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> 
So the producer's cut like uh, takes its time a little bit more. Mm-hmm. There's more suspense. Mm-hmm. Like when the when the older mom is in the house, mm-hmm. she's going back and forth, and Michael's in the background. There's like a little musical thing, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's creepy. And the theatrical cut, it's like, blah. Okay, yeah. it's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So yeah, that's, mm. that's that's our ideas for Halloween. So sets. it's like the music video solution to fixing a movie, exactly. Yeah. Which I think there was a lot of back then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alien 3 had a lot of weird stuff like that going on. Yeah, that, that's another one that was heavily reshot. Yeah. Although I like the producer's cut of Alien 3 a lot, actually. The, oh, the cool. assembly cut, it's called. The assembly cut. Yeah. I might have that. I'm going to have to the, watch the, that. Like, yeah. The previous DVD, there were still like some weird audio issues, but the Blu-ray has since cleaned it up. Like, oh, okay. That'd be another like cool... they did with the producer's cut of Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that'd be another one to like revisit yeah. and see like what you would have changed. Although, I think the producer's cut's fine, mm-hmm. but... I like to do one like how to salvage uh, Crystal Skull, uh, yeah. Indiana Jones. Yeah, because like I, I see that as like a movie with just some problems that could be cut out. Like yeah. it, you know, you know what I would love to do, which will never happen because we'll never see the footage. Oh, uh, the 2015 Fantastic Four, which had to oh, be really? completely reshot. Oh wow! And Solo, a Star Wars story. I that really want to see the original yeah. footage. <laughs> Those would be so cool to do, but there's no way to see that footage. Yeah. And I don't think they're ever going to release any of Not even for like a 20th anniversary? Thing <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> mm. Oh, Exorcist. That's an... Exorcist 4. Oh, Have yeah. That there's one? two yeah. versions of that. Mm-hmm. Exorcist 3 had a... Now this just become a video of just random... Yeah, like, exactly. Like, yeah. All your favorite movies have been reshot. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> or yeah. at least favorite movies. <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah. all I got. All right. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. <laughs>